Welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add accessories to your character and weight painting them so they flex realistically. Let's open up our kit bash pack and choose some accessories. To fit the Soviet aesthetic, I intend for my character to be carrying an AK type rifle, which means the plate carrier must be equipped with the correct magazines. I'm going to select this one, but I'll be removing the radio later. Right click, copy, and paste it into our character scene. Then go to Location X, right click, and copy all to selected. Delete its armature. Go to its modifier and set it to Main Armature. Let's remove some accessories that we don't want. Go to Edit Mode, right click, and then Separate by Material. Now we can select everything we don't want and delete it. Make sure to switch off the rim light on all the accessories that we import, as we did in the last video. Let's go back to our kit bash pack and look for more accessories. Now, think about what he would be wearing on his back. This military backpack is pretty good. Copy this and repeat the same procedure we did with the magazines. Paste it onto the character and copy all to selected. Delete the armature. Then set the modifier to the main armature. It just needs a little bit of adjusting. Right click and set the origin to geometry. Reposition it so that the straps align with the plate carrier's straps. Then push them in slightly so that they appear to be attached. Return to the kit bash pack. These pouches and this rifle bag fit our character profile nicely. Copy them into our character scene. Let's pull this out slightly. Go to the material tab, switch to edit mode, right click, separate by material. This will allow you to move each bag independently. Select both objects and set origin to geometry, then adjust them both so they hook the character's back. This mag pouch is clipping with the backpack. Go to edit mode, go to x-ray mode, highlight this pouch, right click and separate selection. This mag pouch has a pivot point which is connected to the 3D cursor on the ground. Rotate it slightly to the left. Right click and set the origin to geometry. Then rotate the mag pouch slightly so it hugs the plate carrier. Set the armature modifiers for all the accessories to the main armature. Let's add a couple more things. Return to the kit bash pack. Examine the belts and their accessories. This belt is good, but let's pick some more items for it. Select this set. However, we'll be removing this bag and the pistol mags. Copy and paste them into our character scene and center. Normally, we would separate by material, but this mesh only has one material. Go to edit mode, face selection. Use the x-ray mode and delete the mesh manually. Face select the pouches and separate selection. Duplicate them, press escape. Then mirror using global x. Set the pivot point to geometry and rotate them slightly so they hug the belt. Be aware that when you join mirrored objects together, it will cause their normals to flip, just like we saw in part 4. Go to edit mode, face select the red mesh, go to normals and flip. Delete any extra armatures which are not the main armature. Select all your accessories and the jacket. Then control L, copy modifier. All we have left to do now is weight paint the accessories and swap out the textures. Before we do any weight painting, let's stress test the character. The geometry on the waist is fine. Taking a look at the stomach, we can see that this needs some work. We will start by first selecting the plate carrier, and then the pouches on the front. Go to the object mode drop down menu, and then go to weight paint. Go to weights, transfer weights, and then change the source layers to by name. Select the plate carrier again and repeat the exact same procedure for all the accessories attached. Continue stress testing. You can see here that this shoulder blade is warping the backpack's mesh slightly. Select the armature and then the rifle bag and go to weight paint mode. Select this bone and use the gradient tool with a value set to zero and delete all the weight paint information for this bag. Repeat the same action for the other backpack accessories. Out 
I want the straps to follow the plate carrier as it flexes. Use the gradient tool with a 0.4 value setting. Apply a small amount of weight paint information to the backpack straps for each shoulder bone. Lean the character backwards to see how the weight paint has been applied. There is a bit of warping on the front mags. This is being caused by a bone on the waist. Remove the weight paint for this bone. There's another bone affecting it as well, so let's remove that. There is some floating geometry here. Delete it. This side pouch is being warped. Go back to weight paint mode, find what's warping it, and clear it. Clear the pose transforms for every bone. Since we have finished touching up the weight paint, we can now retexture these assets. Select the plate carrier. Go to the shading workspace, copy the color ramp and the hue saturation nodes. Select the ammo pouches, paste those two nodes in, then connect them. Switch to cycles. We're going to alter the color ramp slightly to remove the camo pattern. The new nodes have overridden the textures on these magazines. To change the magazines back to their original material, go to Edit Mode and face select all the exposed magazines. Use X-Ray Mode for more accuracy. Press H to see if you have missed any faces, then undo to unhide them. Back in the Materials tab, press the plus button and search for the original material, which is named Item Equipment Rig. Select that. You should now have two versions of the same material in your menu. Click the New Material button to create an independent copy. Then press Assign, which will apply that material to the selected faces. Delete the color ramp and the hue saturation nodes in the cloned material. The mags will now have their original texture back. We can reuse this cloned material for the other magazine. Face select it and assign the cloned material. Copy the color ramp and the hue from the mag pouches and add them to the other accessories. There's an artifact that looks like a misaligned texture on the belt buckle. To correct this, go to the Material tab, find the Fong Exponent value, cut the connection. Select the plate carrier and copy the top value for the Fong Fresnel ranges. Then add that value to all the other accessories. In Cycles view, look around the character. Rotate the sun to get a good look at their back, and make sure that the textures and the shadows look natural. You can now delete the old boots, which we replaced in video 4. Let's make the jacket one piece. First select the torso, and then the arms. Join them together. Unhide the head. We can see that the eye's material roughness is too high. Change the roughness for both eyes to 0.2, to make the eyes more reflective. The hair is quite shiny. To fix that, select the head's material, then go to the shading workspace. Disconnect the Fong exponent value. That will remove the shine. In the outliner, select everything and move it to the main collection. With everything selected, hold Control and click on the main armature. Right click and parent everything to that armature. Collapse the armature's collection and then delete the human skin. We have now gone from a mixture of assets and a mood board to a unique, fully rigged and weight painted character. In the next segment, we will learn how to use Dad's Studio with Blender to easily pose and add facial expressions to your character.